And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you. Baby, up with a slow motion crew. And we up in the clouds when people change, but not us. And we just chilling, kicking it, kissed by the sun. Could be soaked to the skin in the mall soon. I know she got the good vibes when seasons change, but when.
How's it going, guys? Good Wednesday night. Uh, I'm excited for uh, Main Flame Shrine tonight and uh, Aspen Dungeon. Uh, luckily, we got the Molasa Flame Shrine again tonight, so hopefully we'll get some great numbers tonight for y'all. Um, so I'm going to do, actually, before I switch all my gear, I think I'm going to do my FTA hits real quick. Oh, look at it. I'm rank one right now. They hit me. They did hit me. You guys want to see these defensive matches? Like a one a good bit. What's that one? Watch uh we'll watch a uh, one or two of them. Alright, so this guy was sent a Terra Bell Rain out of the group. Yeah. A different lineup. Uh, what's the build on my heroes? Um, I think right now I got uh, two demon bells on the carries, and I think an A and B on the other carry, possibly a, a Rui Scepter. Uh, the two Adas both have, I think, demon bell, and the uh, Gruda has crown, and that Gruda that's an attack Gruda. I'm pretty sure it's a speed HP and speed attack Ada, I think. And all the carries are speed attack. Yeah, so I found that um, some of the guys on my server have faster carries and the defensive tank lineups don't really work that well when you have slow carries. Um, so I found that attack is a little bit more consistent against these guys that I'm slower than. Uh, didn't want to use the crown in the second Ada. Um, I think it was more of just because I didn't want to switch it because of uh, IDA. I'd rather have Demon Bell on both the Adas for IDA because I split the Adas in IDA and I'm just lazy of switching gear and I just pretty much use the team like this. So I actually take a suffer or I, I, I like I accept the small like percentage loss of wins by not rolling running a full full like optimal CCL team all the time. I also don't run uh, the same team in CCL and FTA so that they like, can't test against me. Like th this lineup, I, d I don't think I'm running in CCL right now. Yeah, I'm running four carries in CCL. Yeah, so what I do is I run different lineups in CCL and FTA so that like if I have a really good team in FTA that they can't like test against it and CCL and try to beat it in FTA. I actually avoid hitting them. I just kind of hit their lower end people because they attack me and apparently I win, so I stay in first. So I've, I just, I'm not gonna take the risk of hitting them. I also don't hit LSS too. Um, my second guys don't have a very good win rate against these bottom guys. LS, LS3 is also kind of iffy. So I just kind of, <laughs> I pound on the lower guys and the upper guys try to fight me and they sometimes, they usually lose. Uh, do I like Athaqua? Not in PvP. Also, I'm not sure if your server has this team. But four carry two Gruda teams always beat mine. Uh, four carry two Gruda. I mean, I've ran that. Um, 
Uh, this guy, this Asian guy, is Korean guy right here. He he runs it sometimes. Um, I think this guy's the only guy on the server that has four carries other than me. Um, I know this guy has at least two carries. I think this guy just has two. I think most people on my server have two carries. I think only me and this guy are the only ones with three or more. And we both have four. Um, so, okay, I'm done with PvP at least for now. So I'm going to switch into the Flame Shine gear. Let's get assassin gear out right. Um, I think my other assassin gear is on Faith Blade. Yeah. At the crit damage. Four carries, two Gerudas with HP. HP are the hard ones to fight against. Yeah. I mean, if your carries are fast, faster, yeah, tank carry Gerudas are really good. But there's ways around it, like like double raw, like double raw or double Terra is usually just screw tank Gerudas. Uh, do I need purify for the Thakwa? Might die. I don't want to risk her dying. I'm just gonna take him bending will. She heals, so. Right, she heals on active, right? Yeah. Where's my other? Want skill damage on Delosium. Crit's pretty much useless. Uh, am I going for a full completion this summons? Um I think that's highly likely. I don't, I'm not sure though. I think I want to get four stones. I'm 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 assuming I'm gonna be able to get four stones if I do four loops. All right. Make sure there's stones. All right. Yeah, I don't really want to run this stone. Gold right now. There we go. Well, there is for tomorrow's event is today. What would you do? First impressions of trailer. I mean, I'm just assuming I'm gonna get four stones. Three stones per completion. So would that mean that means stones are like six hundred scrolls each? Right? If you only get three? Oh, three stones per loop. What? Wait. Means you can get, what, 12 and four completions?
Yeah, I know it's one for I know it's one and two. I know that I know that bit. That's insane, if you can get that many stones. I'm actually shocked. Where the hell is my gear? That same leak was the one that said three stones per heroic skull loop. That's nuts. I I, I just don't, I don't know what to say about that right now. I mean that's just crazy. Oh wait, I have an E five Gurky now. He's all the way up here. I was like, where the hell is my Gurk at? It's freaking E five now. <laughs> Um, I made him E5 to make him faster than, uh, Aqua. All right, so 1584, 1583. Alright, so I think this is what we go with. We got Gurk. Aqua. Bella. Bella. Heart Watcher and Sigma. So one, two, three, four, six, yeah. I, you DM'd the source to me? Okay. All right, let's start this. Wait, so does this mean that you only get the crystals through uh, loop rewards? Or is this a per, per, per heroic scroll thing? Okay, okay the aqua died there. I didn't even tell I mean, the Delosiums will probably still do a lot of damage. The dots aren't a lot. I mean, I only, I'm only seeing like 6 million dots. They're 40, what is, what is that? A 77 mil dot right there. Yeah, Sig didn't die, but the Thakwa did. 22 billion. <laughs> Wait, so what is what does she have right now? She has unbending will. Okay, let's take off. Let's give her purify. Oh, I get oh, I had the wrong thing on her too. Okay, 
I did speed HP on. Wait, she died with HP. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't watching. I was looking at the uh, the link that you sent me. I wasn't looking again and the she died again. Oh man, these people hit hard. I may need to run the bell rain. Girk, you don't heal enough. All right, we're going bell rain. Is Olivia good for PvP? Uh, yeah, not bad. Um, I'm seeing she's pretty good. Oh my god, that hurt. That Delosium just got destroyed. Um, she's pretty good and in... whoa, Bellring, wh what are you doing with your heels, girl? And how are they not at like? I've seen it do good uh, to Olivia do good in PvP it's funny this team dies like half of it dies and it still does better than like 90% of the teams out there in PvE Does Heart Watcher have energy artifact? Gives her heart reduce or gives her attack reduce round one. No, I don't have one on her right now. That might help. I now have armor or uh, runes power. I think on. Yeah, eleven billion. Still probably better than most people. Give you energy artifact. Um, this one died, and yet I didn't know. The other one did not die, right? Yeah. No. Bell ring, keep him alive, please. All right, I think they're going to stay alive this time. Oh, the Thakwa, that was close. Oh, he's super close again. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Thanks for coming in tonight. Uh... I haven't run any of the Aspens yet, just doing Flame Shrine. Uh, last attempt, though, had some fails. 
tried to use the Gurk before. Wasn't really working out. All right now they're hitting for like minus two. Took a while. Without the Unimax, Unimax really accelerates the attack steal. There we go, 30 bill. Still not the best. Oh, sorry, I just burped. All right, so uh, the guy number two has, I think, three scaries. So he has like a mini scary army. Uh, Zeal's just high rolled with uh, his Phoenix buffs, if you watch his video. If the new light is good, would you convert Terra for it if you only have Terra? You only have one Terra? Uh... Um, I don't know. Depends, I guess. I don't know if my, I mean, I mean, my light, it's essentially as much my alt will be able to do, because my alt has one Terra, and I plan on building the one new light from scratch, and then its second one. I don't. I think I was just gonna swap the faith blade. I think, just do like a regular swap. Well, the his Athaqua didn't do a whole lot of. I mean, his Athaqua did what? Uh, can't remember. It wasn't like an extreme amount of damage that she did. If you also remember, uh, it jumped, his ghost jumped from uh, the one boss to the other in that big high attempt. And it jumped in the, uh, I think it was in like the 10th or 11th round. So that means that she was getting, she was starting to high roll dots on another, another hero with like the high damage dots for the last couple rounds. So, I mean, there was a combination of factors of why that run had so much high damage. Like, I, I, like the entire time I've had this team, I have not been able to replicate the, the ghost swap, like, often at all. Like, I, it doesn't, it's so rare. It, it, it doesn't happen, like, ever. All right, so I don't even use, I'm not even gonna use this girl. In the Aspen, use this guy. All right, is up, is right. Got HP attack on you. Take these crowns off. All right, so this one's going to have heal effect and HP. And this one will have HP attack. Wait, did Terra fall off for being a PvP here? No, Terra is actually a lot better now than what he was before. Once they changed Seal of Light and made Seal of Light prevent, like, actual, like, enables, like, enable passives, like, uh, you can't purify when you're sealed, you can't heal when you're sealed from resilience, um, there is actually pretty good now.
Like it, it's a pretty hard counter to the tank Garuda set build. Maybe use crit. Oh, you're saying for this one right here, use shelter or use lethal fight back or what are you, what are you saying? Oh, crit reduce. Yeah, crit reduce. So use shelter. Uh, Cause yeah, yeah, he twenty nine percent heal effect there. Increases effect of being healed by fifteen percent. Is that that's additive, right, or is that multiplicative? I don't know if that's additive or not. Yeah, no, I, I think this would be better. Well, because this one's heal effect. And this one's eff effect of being healed. So those are, oh, so those are the two different, yeah, those are two different multipliers. Yeah, because I, if I had the other stone, it would probably, I think it would have been additive. Whoops, not going like this. All right, so we got the two Ada's set up, Faith Blade set up, Aspen. Now we need this guy. And hopefully we don't get Roz or the single Roz. Really, he has the right stuff. So I changed the stone on So why not two assassins? Uh, Cause I'm running, uh, I'm running Aspen also. So that's essentially you got two wave clears right there, and you don't, you don't need three. Like a lot of stuff that a Thakwa that that can do, Faithblade can do, and you'd, I'd rather bring like a couple more bases than I'd rather bring a base or or something that could like kill a node that I can't kill. Like bringing a Terra instead of uh, another Ada could be a possibility, because then I could uh, then then I could run the uh, Terra against the second or against the single Raws. Well, I, should, I probably should have healed there. Whoops. Oh wait, I just realized I got one demon potion. What the f What? <laughs> what is this? What? <laughs> oh man, I think I can do this. Yeah. 
Oh, man. This is so sad. Hopefully I never have to use a freaking demon potion. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, I, everything's easy so far. Um, I think he'll just kill everything in one hit, so we don't even need to heal him. Yeah. Okay, I actually need to pull up my spreadsheet for this one. I was actually going in without my spreadsheet there. Uh, I think Faithblade can do this one. Yeah, I think Faithblade can do this. I don't have any data, but I'm pretty sure he can. Add that real quick. Wait, what? That must have been Valks, right? No, just one. Trust in the Faith Blade, yeah, for real. Dude, if I make it to death 50 with just one potion, that would be pretty nutty. How good is Unimax in the Aspen Dungeon? He's really good against the uh, Valkyrie and Oberon stages. If you have a torch. <laughs> if you don't have a torch, he's only good against the Oberon stages. Uh, four sixty ra. Guess I gotta sacrifice the faith blades energy. Rip. Oh, that sucks. Hopefully, I get like a double da or something. Uh, could Faithblade kill this in one and then get two? Oh, he won't. Okay, never mind. I think she'll heal up. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is what I want. Oh, no. He, he didn't kill him in that one hit. Now he still has 100 energy. Uh, oh, it's this wave, too. I think I'm going to have to use a human potion here. Yeah, I think I have to use a demon potion on the Aspen. I 
and he's not full energy either. That's a classic Faith Blade wave, yeah, but I eh, only had 100 energy. Ooh. Is Ada really? Ada can kill this. You sure about that? Uh, that's what it was. I know energy or not enough energy. Okay. Hopefully we can get faith played to 200 energy. Cool. Oh man, I think we're going to be stuck at 100. It's frustrating only getting one demon potion. And Yeah, June, I got one demon potion this run, so this is like rip. Yeah, one demon potion. It's like I, it's just like I, I have no chance unless I just keep getting like these stupid waves right here. Okay, well, now I'm screwed. <sighs> Faith Blade, I think you're going to go bye bye. I'm going to sacrifice you, man. I'm s yeah. Oh, wait. He did it. Faith Blade's a champ. <laughs> that was Faith Blade 100, too. What do I do here, though? I think I do sacrifice the Faith Blade. No, I don't want to sac. Well, if I sacrifice the Unimax, then I leave myself open up to any Oberon waves or 
the Valkyries. Yeah. Yeah, so I need to sacrifice the Faith Blade. Uh oh. Lag. Who stunned raw? But yeah. All right, so can Ada win this now? No, you can't. She now. <laughs> I mean. No, she can't. Uh. Man, one demon potion. What the f fuck is this? Oh, wait. Unimax. Going ham. Nope. Wow. Get. Ooh, 10 scrolls. Please be scrolls in here. Okay. Nice. Take all that. Oh, not enough gold. Wow, I got a lot of promotion stones today. Yeah, that wave, that wave sucked. <laughs> uh, I need gold. Oh, I guess I can be shy. Ooh. Nice. Wait. Wait, I already had a ruins map. Does this mean I have a choice between a light or a dark? <laughs> Because I already had the ruins map. I got that like a couple days ago. Um, not, I don't think there's anything left to do on this account. So let me log in to my trash alt. Yeah, that means I've gotten both the uh, ruins maps on this mission. How many promotion stones did I have now? 24k. I can almost build another hero, but <laughs> I have no resource, no gold or. Anything else? 
All right, so let's switch switch over to here. I haven't even logged in today on this account, it looks like. Brutal. That's brutal. I got 10 minutes on that one. Why do I buy three more? Because uh, you get, it's like the same cost as event raids at CLAN 20. Well, it's actually at like CLAN 16, right? I forget the calculation. Nothing, no boost. Yeah, it's one of the cheapest sources of fodder in the game. So I'm going to bring in Augustine for the Valkyrie waves, I think. If I remember correctly, he does not, Augustine does not beat the Oberons. It's just the uh, Valkyries. We want this guy. Where's my antlers king? HP effect to be healed. I guess we're rolling with that. Go ahead. There's a six star set, no. Good. I craft one. So Ada, Justin, Penny, 
Aspens, that's four. Does Mim beat Obrons? Maybe I can do Mim for the Obrons and then Justin for the Valkyries. Can't remember if he beats Oberon's or not. One, three, one, one. Uh -huh. That's what I had set up. All right. So we'll just go with that then. All right, so I got five demon pots, this one. But I only got, is that 17 of the uh, crit damage? Sucks. My FPS settings on this emulator is lower than my other one, I can tell. Single raw. I think Penny beats this. Check. Of Penny seventy five beats. Yeah, she has cog. That's close. All right, double penny, double raw. Have penny plus a demon potion on this one. I'm just gonna do that. Oh. Must have had more energy than when I recorded this. Man. Oh, you know what? No, no, I didn't change the stone. Rip. I was experimenting with a speed crit penny earlier. Uh, uh, got about that. Yeah, this will give him one hundred energy. Sucks. Hopefully, I can go far with just Ada and Aspen. <laughs> and I get freaking raw.
horrify, please. No. Damn it. I should have used a, a potion on the frickin' uh, Aspen. <laughs> this is so funny to watch. <laughs> so funny. Oh wow, now, now I get a bunch of easy waves. Oh, now we got Oberon. Now we got the Oberon. Yeah, this is equally as hilarious to watch. <laughs> yeah, so the reason why I do this on my alt is because my alt has no method to kill Oberons and no method to kill Valkyries except for Mim and Gustin. Gustin works well on the Valkyries, Mim works well on the, on the Oberons. And the reason for this is because Oberon can't CC Mim. And Oberon relies on the uh, attack boost when he CCs. So uh, I know that the Gustin loses to the Oberons because of the attack buff that they get. But yeah, they're funny to watch. Yeah, so if you don't have an Unimax with uh, a torch, you can go and you have a Gustin and you have a Mim. You can run those for the uh, the two waves, or the waves that a Unimax would carry you through with a torch. I'm pretty I'm pretty much fucked here though. I have no node clear. So if I get if I get anything that Ada can't beat or anything, yeah, like this right here. I'm, I'm pretty much fucked right here. All right, sacrifice Mim to the gods. Sacrifice Gustin to the gods. He's gonna kill himself on his heel. <laughs> yeah, this no. <laughs> All right, Ada. <laughs> I'm giving you a bunch of potions. Oh, wow, it did nothing. Oh, man. 
Yeah. Rip. I needed Aspen there or a penny. Wow, that sucks. This account doesn't buy anything from Aspen. Except for gold stuff. Three friends, yeah. Got the one demon potion on the main. And then I I act, just had the Ron set up on Penny. Then I sent Aspen and Ron with, with uh, to put another demon potion on him. All right, everything from gold is bought. Probably I can do a uh, flame shrine on my on this account. All this. How many copies of a new hero do you get after three loops normally? After three loops, you're probably going to have either anywhere from six to, well, actually, really anywhere from like probably five to eight copies. Anywhere from five as being like the absolute dog shit of RNG, eight having like super godly. I've seen people get like nine and three, so I mean, but you're most likely to get six or seven. I think, yeah, this account's gonna have the molasses. So, we're in the cruise. Younger Brain, Garuda, Cruise, uh, Sigmund, Art Watcher. Let's give you the five stars, I guess, or four stars. Oh, three stars. Going all the way down there? No. All right, pull it off you. I think I'm going to bring the bell rain. One, two, three, four, five. My sixth one will probably be. Uh, it could be DA if she gets hit a lot. It's hit, yeah, I guess. Wait, I don't have. I forgot. I, I got rid of my crit stone on her. Preparing for the DA switch or the uh, switch to carry. Okay, can't bring you then. Got to bring you. Take out Gustin, then Cruz, then Aspen, Lorain, Gruda, Art Watcher, Phoenix, and go.
I don't know, maybe we'll get like like six six to seven billion. I don't know. This account I don't expect much. I might hit ten. I get good RNG. Oh, Heart Watcher is going to die. I'm not going to get very high. Maybe I should bring a Raw instead of uh, Aspen. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that next time. Bring the 10 star Raw. Skip this. It's not good. Yeah. Damage is low. Um, I'm just gonna yeah, give her the fearless. Oh wait, I thought I gave her a fearless. Oh wait, no, Cruz gave her energy, that's what it was. Oh, good boy, Cruz. We gave Bell Rain a double stack of, <laughs> double stacks on Ra and Heart Watcher. Oh, Sigmund, that was actually bad. That Cruz gave Bell Rain energy. Is that what? Because I couldn't get a heal off. Now oh, Sigmund is dead. It's not a good run. Cruz screwed everything up. Yeah, this is going to be terrible. Yeah. All right, Cruz, you're going to come out for Aspen there. I'm not going to I'm not going to take that RNG of you giving Bell Rain energy. Cuz against Molasses, those dots hurt, the damage is just a lot. Yeah, I think they'll stay alive this time. As long as they don't die right here, I think we're fine. Do you think scrolls and orbs will combine for one set of rewards or two different sets? What do you mean by that? Is Sigmund there for the burns? Yeah, he's there for the burned and the armor reduce. Uh, Heart Watcher lost in round seven. That sucks. I have fear. I have a, I have a runes power in that Heart Watcher. I think.
The Sigmund stays alive longer than the 10 star Hot Watcher. The Sigmund's only 6 star. What stone is the Sig rocking? Like nothing. I think a blue stone. I think it's uh, more got to do with the tech and that Sigmund just has a lot of armor and he has DR built into him, his kit. I mean, the armor is not going to be a whole lot for him at six star, but uh, he has natural DR just from his kit. I mean, I'm running the, the Amon Ra just to try to protect my team a little bit longer. So my team doesn't die. The other thing that I could try, do I have an Emily built? Is using, yeah, I do. Using an Emily, she reduces crit. Wait, that's a 10 star, right? No, right here. Yeah, she reduces crit on her basic. So I could use an Emily. I'm just gonna go with one damage hero, all supports. And for example, I have a lot more orbs than scrolls relative to cost. So while I miss rewards, that orbs give by not doing my many scrolls. No, it's okay. It's okay to skip uh, heroic scroll events. You don't have to do one hundred every time. I mean, if you really need those six orbs. Oh, do you mean like you're going to have, like you're going to be missing out on the rewards from anniversary compared to the, uh, and the heroic scroll event versus the or orb event after anniversary? Is that what you're talking about? The orb event after anniversary that was last year, the Asmodal one. I think that was like 100 orbs per loop. Um, yes, the orb event is usually less generous than anniversary. The orb event is not actually anniversary usually, it's the heroic scroll event. The orb event is usually just like an after thing. How did Aspen go? I had one demon potion. That's all I got. All right, much better, 6.5. Um, could do uh, Flame Shrine on my alt also, and then we'll call the stream. 
for my ult. Did I do my rolls yet? Did not. Ooh, uh, got a free dice. Okay. Trick card. I go backwards. Well, I'm not moving it forward anymore, I guess. Let's go backwards six. <laughs> All right. Got two Stanima. Ooh, I got an orb. Uh, quick question. Should I get one more copy of Forest to make him 10 star or one copy of Garuda to make her 9 star? I was uh, using relics for this. And why are you building two heroes at once? Oh, the hero selection chest. But yeah, but why are you why are you building two heroes at once? I mean, unless you're like wailing and can afford building two heroes at once, you shouldn't. You should be focusing one one hero to e five. I don't even know what flame trying to have. Area. Damn, it's really hard for me to choose to build Belrain or Amon Ra. Is it okay to break it down briefly? What? There's no reason to build Amon Ra past 10 star right now. Belrain's better in PvP and PvE. You can hold Belrain at ten, or I mean, uh, Amon Ra at ten star if you really need to, just to clear CLN twenty. She's not critical to PvP anymore. Uh, which one should you focus first? Between Horus or Garuda? Probably, uh... Okay, well that's when you gotta make your choice. Do you care about going past Sea Land 15? For extra Sea Land smashes and extra fodder? And do you like PvP a lot? Then go Garuda if you don't care about going past Sea Land 15. If you go Horus, you'll go like, you'll probably go CLA in 17 to 18 most likely 17 for a while then 18 eventually um, which means more fodder increase so it's really up to you and but Horus is not good in in PvP really um, so there's trade-offs picking between one or the other
Sorry, I need to get I need to get gear up my heroes and then I can talk while we're doing the flame shrine. Getting distracted here. But why do you have the antler thing? I think I had Barry at last week on my uh oh be sure I did. Alright, so I'm wearing Unimax, Ruda, Bell Rain, Carrie, Heart Watcher. And segment. I don't really care about the gear. <laughs> You're going to the back line. You're going to be protected. No, I guess I didn't. What did I have last week? All right, so let's go back to reading chat. Um, I have four Aspen copies and one carry copy. DA is eight star, and I want to replace one. Right, do I buy carries or get F? Well, can't a six star Aspen kill seal and 20? I've seen that before. We got this on two times. Um. You're free to play a mid game. You have four Aspen copies, one carry. Your DA is eight star. So I imagine you're going to go to nine star with the DA, make her 10 star, and then replace, I would assume. Um, yeah, I'm going to replace. Okay. And then do I buy? I mean,. I would just save. I mean, if if this is like relics, I mean, or the chest, I would just save. Like, there's absolutely no reason to pull that chest right now. Like, you know, like if you if you don't have the copies to make what you want to build, don't pull the chest. Wait, just just hold on to the chest. That way, when when it does come to time, we're like, oh, hey, like I am building my Aspen, or I hey, I am building my carry. I need one more copy. Or I need two more copies, or whatever it is. That's when you pull your relics, or that's when you pull out of your hero chest. Um, there's no reason to be building light dark if you don't have enough copies. There's just no point. Yeah, you can use DA in slot one. Do I, I have a DA in this account? No, I don't. I used to. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, DA can work in this. Use a DA and an Amon Ra as your front line. It can work.
uh, Phoenix buffs not going on the Gerda. That's boring. I thought 3K is getting hurt pretty badly. Oh. Will a cog make a difference? It could be, because I don't have a whole lot of armor reduced with this 5 star segment. And Barrios do have a lot of armor. So it's possible that Cog's better against this. I don't. I don't. Uh, probably it might be. I haven't really done a whole lot of testing, but uh, um, Beria Beria has really, really, really high armor. It's actually okay. Let's do that. Run the Cog. Because he does have a lot of armor. But in any other situation with bosses, the uh, Antler's Cane is usually better. Come on. Come on, Phoenix. Give it to Garuda. Thank you. Uh, Cog is, uh... Well, for PvP, Crown is the best artifact for Gruda. Uh, but Cog's a good second. PvE, Cog's good in a lot of situations where the, as it, as in this one where the arm the boss has a lot of armor. Ooh, Sweetie Max just died right there. Not good. Died really early. Hopefully, Carry can get some dodges. Um, but yeah, so like against bosses of high armor, uh, I guess it goes really good. All right, she just needs to dodge a couple more. Oh wow, she dodged all three of those. Holy. You dodge two out of three right there. Three point five. All right, Unimax, stay alive. Oh, I should have put Antler's Cane on the Unimax instead of the dildo that I have on him. Now that I took the antlers cane off of uh, Garuda. Oh well. Yeah, the Garuda has all red. You could also have, um, if you have heroes that are attacking faster than your Garuda, if like your Heart Watcher is E3 and your Sigmund is higher, then uh, your Garuda do more damage because then you're having more heroes attack before the Garuda. 
so that also affects her damage a lot. Having everyone attack before her. All right, come on, Phoenix. Give it to Gerda. Thank you. Well, if there's a pay to win artifact on anniversary, that's there's probably gonna be a new artifact. So you're probably gonna want to get the new artifact over an old artifact. Because the old one will pop up in campaign loot eventually. The Demon Bell will. Here's 5.5. Gerda did a lot higher that time. That's the last one. Okay. Red dots, click the red dots. All right, so I think I am going to call the stream here. Um, I don't know if I'm going for loops or not tomorrow. I haven't made that decision. Uh, from the sounds of it, if I can get three stones per loop, I might. I don't know. I don't know. So if I if I can if I get what is that? Twelve stones, and then I can get another twelve on anniversary. So I have twenty four. You need 18 for a light dark replace full E5 to E5. I might. It really depends on what the leaks say tomorrow. If the leaks, if the new hero looks pretty good and the stone situation looks pretty good, I'll probably use 2000 scrolls. I'm I'm not sure yet, but I'll probably stream the 2000 scrolls live though if I do. Um it'll either be tomorrow night or or a uh, Friday morning or something. So uh just watch my channel for any uh updates on me going live if you want to see that. I don't really I, I haven't made a decision. I usually will I'll post a couple hours before uh, I go live if I do decide to pull scrolls just to give people a heads up. Um, but yeah, so catch you guys later. Have a good night. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching me tonight. Uh, see you later.